Hello everyone, this is Darkheiser returning from a long absence here with the latest in my tutorial series of Space Engineers videos. Uh, we have a very, very exciting update. Today is Thursday, so of course we have our Space Engineers update that we all look forward to. And today's update is very exciting. We have our new sorting blocks. Uh, the wonderful developers at Keen gave us sorting blocks last week, but they were a little quirky and there were a few uh, issues with them. However, today's update has managed to fix them and uh, they now uh, operate properly and it's something that I'm very, very excited about. I've arranged for a demonstration, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, below, you can see that I have a somewhat convoluted um, and unnecessarily messy a series of, of uh, operations going on down here. I'm sure that those of you that are much tidier uh, would be able to make this much more concise and um, take up a lot less uh, space on the, uh, the shop floor. But let me explain how all of this works. Um, the sorting blocks, as many of you uh, have already determined, are the new blocks with the uh, red arrows on them. The red arrows indicate that the blocks are shut off. And uh, when I go ahead and I turn all of those on, uh, then the lights on them will turn yellow, the arrows will turn yellow, so they will be similar to the yellow lights that we have on our current uh, conveyor tubes. Now, what this setup is designed to do, if you play um, survival as I do, you often find yourself doing an awful lot of uh, very tedious tasks manually. Uh, you bring in a large load of ore, uh, from a, a mining vessel and you go ahead and you dump it off on your station and then you may have uh, your refineries are refining things in the wrong order the wrong refineries may be grabbing the wrong ore. you may have things of a, of a different priority and then of course if you're grinding on uh, something like a captured freighter you may have all sorts of components and and ingots and other things that you have to sort by hand and it can all be very tedious the new sorting blocks uh, with a judicious use of uh, equipment and uh, cargo containers can now uh, help simplify all of this. The system that I have set up, the white cargo container is my initial receiving container. Uh, everything that I would be receiving on my station would come in through here, through the uh, connector located out there on the, the end of the conveyor. Everything comes into here and then promptly gets sorted. Uh, if it uh, if whatever comes in is an ingot, then it goes straight through this sorter, which is set strictly for ingots, as I will demonstrate. And I have this set for uh, most of the various kinds of ingots, except for uranium and stone. So everything that isn't a uranium ingot or a stone ingot. Uh, goes through this tube, through this uh, convenient uh, conveyor, and into my ingot vault. Now, my ingot vault is set next to my uh, assembler, and this, con this um, sorting block is set to any ingot. If it managed to get this far, then that means that it's supposed to be here. And as you can see, the blocks are turned off, but the drain all, which is the new feature on the sorting blocks this week, uh, the drain all has been turned on. Uh, the rest of the block functions uh, as it always did. Uh, you can either whitelist something or blacklist something. Uh, in this case, I have whitelisted all ingots. The ingots will go into the assembler, which I have already preset to want to build uh, steel plates because I need some steel plates, some displays, and then some computers. Now, of course, I don't have any ingots in my ingot vault, so all of these things are currently sitting here idle. Now, this sorting block is set for components only. And again, it's set to drain all, and the uh, power is currently turned off. I'll be turning that on in a moment. Now, what I've determined... Uh, through experimentation is the fact that if I have uh, this block set to simply drain all and I have this block over here set for ingots 
then what will happen is the ingots will be drained out of the cargo container, they will go into the assembler, and then they will be sucked right through the assembler by the sorting block and then be shoved into my component container, which is not what I want. I want the ingots to stop at the assembler so that they can actually be assembled. So what I have done is set uh, the initial sorting block, as I showed you, for the ingots, and then this one is set to draw off all of the components that are made and then dump them into my component vault. Now, over here, we have a, a sort of a sub-assembly. We have a separator. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all of the uh, ore comes out this way and goes into one of these two systems. Uh, this sorting block is set for draining all and whitelisting the five primary kinds of ore that you stick into a uh, refinery. Again, I do not have uh, uranium and I do not have uh, stone. This one is set only for cobalt, iron, and nickel, which are the three kinds of ore that you feed into uh, an arc reactor. And, of course, I have named these uh, so that as I am going down through the list, I have my, my sorter group so that I can turn everything on and off. I can set drain all on and off. These are all of my various uh, sorters. You see, I have a couple of them here that I haven't named. I probably replaced those recently. But all the rest of them are named so that if I start to have a problem with my system, I can easily go back through and see if I accidentally switch something on or off. Now, when this gets when uh, these get turned on, what will happen is uh, the five main kinds of ore will go into the refinery. The other three kinds of ore will go into the arc reactor. Now, this one is set to pull all of the ingots out, and then it will dump these ingots into the ingot vault. This one will pull all of the ingots out and I could simply set these for uh, for all ingots. Uh, I, I could go back if I wanted to be really fastidious and I could set them for exactly the kinds of material that's going in but I consider that to be a little bit obsessive. So this will again pull out all of the ingots that are made and dump them uh, into the conveyor which will then dump them into the ingot vault. I have a uranium uh, centrifuge which will automatically draw all of the uh, uranium uh, ore that goes into the container and it will draw that off without needing to have a conveyor block or to, to have a sorting block that will be sorted on its own if I had the refinery hooked directly to the container then uh, all of the ore would automatically be drawn into the refinery but again I don't want that I only want the five kinds that can't be done with either the uranium centrifuge or the uh, arc reactor. Now, I don't need to build any reactor components anytime soon. Since I don't need to build reactor components, I don't need stone. For those of you that do a lot of mining, I'm sure you'll understand when you dump off a tremendous load of, of ore, you have huge piles of stone, often that you don't need and don't want to deal with. So what I've done here is uh, I have set this uh, sorting block to only handle stone and again it's set to drain all and it's whitelisted so uh, as soon as I turn all of these on then this is going to then uh, pull all of the stone out of the cargo container and push it all into what I refer to as my gravel pit which is below. Now this is what I refer to as my component bypass. Um, all of the components that are already made uh, bypass the entire system and go straight to the component vault. And if I if I need to build anything, then I, I need components, obviously, then I can come straight to the component vault and all of my components wind up here. Anything that I don't have that I need to make, I order it from the assembler and it gets shoved into the component vault where I can find it. So it's one-stop shopping for me. Everything gets dropped off at the far end. All of the components come down to here. Now, 
I have this uh, assembler set up, and I forgot to color it the same color as my other one. Uh, this assembler is set up to disassemble, and it is set to disassemble uh, repeatedly, and anything that gets shoved into it uh, will basically be disassembled. So any, any component that gets shoved in here will be disassembled. Now, I don't want all of my components to automatically be disassembled, otherwise I'm going to have an endless loop of, of things that are assembled and disassembled. So what I've done is I've set this sorter to only do ammunition, hand tools, and automatic rifles. I don't use uh, ammunition. I always wind up with lots of extra sets of hand tools whenever I capture uh, a freighter. They tend to have lots of sets of them laying around in the cargo containers and so forth. And I certainly don't need any more automatic rifles. So again, this is a kind of a sub-assembly uh, sorter. So anything that goes through the component bypass and the component bypass is set to let me get down here and it's set to components ammunition and hand tools Oop, almost forgot I didn't add automatic rifles so there now everything that comes into the initial container will get sorted one way or another if it's ammunition hand tools or automatic rifles or any other kind of component it'll go through here and go straight down to the component vault ingots go straight to the ingot vault or get separated into one of the three types of processing stations that will appropriately process the ore into ingots and then that also gets dumped into the ingot vault all of the ingots are fed through an assembler Anything that gets assembled into a component, again, goes into the component vault, and then all of my components wind up here. Now, of course, if I know that I'm going to be getting a lot of ore or a lot of components, then I can set up multiple containers next to each other. Everything will flow into the first container, and then when that is full, things will flow into the second container and so forth. And again, anything uh, that I don't want, I simply put it on this uh, sorter, in this case hand tools, ammunition, and uh, automatic rifles, those go into my disassembler, and then all of that gets fed back into the ingot vault. So the whole thing should be uh, completely automated. So let me come down here, and I will show you that I have uh, a, a real uh, mishmash of stuff. We have uh, ammunition, we have lots of different kinds of components, we have several different kinds of ore, we have several different kinds of ingots, um, automatic rifles, hand tools, etc, etc, etc. We've got a real mess of stuff down here. And uh, fairly typical for uh, the type of stuff that you're going to you're, you're going to see if you're either coming back from a large mining operation or coming back from a large salvage operation. So let's go ahead and I have everything set to a button. And we go ahead and we turn everything on. Now all of the sorters are activated. As you can see, the ingots have gone into the ingot vault and then they have gone into the assembler. So the assembler is now producing things. The uh, conveyor sorter uh, is processing uh, ingots as they as they go through. The component vault has all of the components as well as all of the other miscellaneous things. Uh, the stone pit uh, has all of the stone. You don't see any of the stone going through the system. The refinery is taking care of the silver, the gold, and the platinum, which are the only three types of things that it actually should be taking care of. And the arc furnace is taking care of the iron and the cobalt. And if it were not for the fact that the uranium centrifuge had already ground up all of the uranium ore, then we would be seeing that as well. So as you can see, as things get processed and dropped in, things get made and then they get pushed along. We can see the number of steel plates is slowly increasing. So we never have to worry about our assembler getting too full of uh, components that have been processed. It always gets pulled out in the component vault. We never have to worry about our refineries and our arc furnaces getting too full 
of ingots so that they stop. Everything automatically gets pulled out. We don't have to worry about anything getting choked up uh, with, the, uh, with the stone. Now, all of these items are still in here because you can see the red arrow I have over there. I had those set on a separate button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit our second button. That goes ahead and that turns on those systems. And then we come back over here. And we can see that is still assembling. And this is now beginning to disassemble. So now all of these parts that I don't want and don't need are going to get disassembled into all of these ingots. And then everything winds up back in the ingot vault which at the moment is empty because nothing's gotten there yet. And all of the uh, ingots are automatically getting pulled out, so it's already registering as empty. Let me go ahead. As you can see, the ingot vault, as things get, get ground up, they're popping into the ingot vault, and then they're immediately being dragged out. Now, when it gets to the point where the assembler is full, then no more ingots will be pulled into the assembler. But while you have the assembler building things, the uh, ingots will automatically be, be used and cycled through. Now, uh, this week's update uh, also included a, a very, very exciting thing that we've been waiting for, oxygen. However, I think that that is an important enough uh, topic that it deserves its own video. I felt the same way about sorting uh, and the sorting block, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, do this video right away since the sorting blocks came out last week, as I said, and unfortunately they were just a little too quirky. We had to, to futz with them just a little bit to make them work, and now that they've been fixed, I wanted to go ahead and get this done straight away. Now, uh, if there are any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Uh, if anyone would like to see further tutorials uh, on specific subjects or if they'd like to see a more specific uh, tutorial uh, dealing with the, the new sorting blocks, uh, please go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well. Um, as always, uh, likes are appreciated and subscriptions doubly so. Uh, this is Dark Heiser signing off. I hope to see you in the game and I hope that you have a good evening.